Some surprise teams that started out hot have not cooled down. Their fans are wondering if this is the new normal. Well, B.A., it's easy for fans to jump to that conclusion. But look, the bottom line is you can't look too far ahead. You've got to stay in the moment and enjoy the ride. I wish I had done more of that when I was playing. And he's going to the line. For Brunson joining the Knicks. The two were enamored with each other early on in the process. A big signing for the Knicks, and Brunson now gets a chance to be a main piece of the team. Now here's Curry. Pass to Henry. Beyond the arc. Sinks it from distance. Well, the vision Curry has on the floor. We've seen him put those goggles up from time to time. He easily spots a ready shooter that time. Here's Randall. Warriors with the rebound. They put up a nice win against Toronto last time out. Oh my, talk about mental toughness. The crowd was roaring against them, but they were able to focus and finish the task at hand. Impressive to see them on the road just step up and have that kind of offensive performance. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. Now here's Randall. He played a great game against Indiana. Here's Hardenstein. And it's good for two. Well, that's excellent. Get the ball down deep inside and cash in on a simple basket. Outside Curry. First quarter, just over a minute and a half in. Wiggins outside, down to five on the shot clock. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Henry, that one's good. And Wiggins is a capable passer, someone that wants to hit a guy in the right spot. Outside Brunson. Pass to Hardenstein. That one drops for him. Hardenstein's got a second bucket on the night. Well, if you're giving up that much height, the only thing that you can do as a defender is to foul him. After a couple of injury-plagued seasons where they missed the playoffs, the Warriors have returned to their winning ways. And just how impressive has that been? And here's Curry for three. And the Warriors with another three. Now their offense is rolling. A perfect start for a four so far. Now here's Brunson. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Indiana. Randall against Green. They get it again. Randall, good. So active and understanding more and more with his experience where to be to get offensive rebounds is Julius Randall. Pass to Curry. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. Right, and getting Clay Thompson back has been a major factor for their renewed success. Uh, there's no doubt how vital Clay is to this team, but you got to give credit to their overall depth. I don't think Clay was fully healthy last year uh, at any point, so he's coming in stronger. This roster still feels like strength in numbers is in effect. And it's Randall with the jam. Randall getting up there, explosive vertically on that play with great timing. Outside, Green. It's Wiggins on the wing, guarded by Barrett. Green with a screen on Barrett. Here's Wiggins. And that one drops. Wiggins getting the space and then does not hesitate before firing that one. Green against Randall. One minute left to play in the first. Oh, it's blocked by Green. The Warriors leading. Wiggins outside. Pass to Green. Into the lane. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. Brunson three-pointer no good 
The Warriors have gone a perfect 7 for 7. Green finds Curry. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Come on, back it up, man. Wiggins outside. Pass to Green. Over Barrett. That one's good from Green. And the assist by Wiggins. Wiggins has got his third assist of the night. Up top, Randall. Can't cash it in from the high post. And that does it for the first quarter. The Warriors. in this one. Difficult situation for New York. And so in the game for the Warriors. Wiggins and Green make up the forwards. Then there's Stephen Curry. Then it's Jermichael Green. And it's Henry in at the one. Inside, here's Randall. An easy two on the layup. Randall's got six points. And that's how you execute the pick and roll. Randall slicing well after setting the screen. Good timing. Pass to Curry. Here's Green. Over to the left wing. Here's Henry. Hits the trifecta. Ten points for him. Now, Draymond Green patient enough to know when his teammates are running around. At some point, one's going to break open. Then he finds them. Brunson passes to Toppin. And the shot goes. Soft defense. I mean, they've given up 10 of the last 12 points inside. And the Warriors shooting a red-hot 63% in this game. Pass to Curry. It's Wiggins on the wing. Back to Curry. Now Green. Here's Henry. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Green's got three assists now in this one. That's nice vision there. You see that pass, you make the feed before the defense has a chance to react, and that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. And so it's the Golden State Warriors continuing to pile it on, up 22 as we head to the break. It hasn't taken them too many shots to get their points. They're winning with efficiency. We'll be right back after this word. Hey everybody, always a fascinating story. Our first order of business. Let's catch you up on some trades around the league. The thing about Gordon Hayward is he gets you a little of everything. Obviously the points, uh, he provides a huge and the rebounding and the playmaking. He can control the pace of the game from the wing position. Just hope he can stay healthy. And now let's talk about the first half we just watched. A fantastic performance for the Golden State Warriors. If you want to know why they're dominating, look at the rebound. They are owning the glass on both ends, and they're doing a great job of turning those extra possessions into points. Yeah, in terms of chasing down misses, this has been a clinic. Kind of like you at the free throw line and I have to chase down the ball. Kind of like that. Well, that's what you are, a ball chaser. Get it? And that's it for halftime. Thank you for joining us. We send you back to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. As we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. You know, in baseball, Grant, they have a term, a five-tool player. In the NBA these days, it's similar. 
you need those well-rounded players to succeed. Ah, I like the baseball reference, but you're spot on, B.A. It's all about bringing versatility to the game. Players that can... There are high school reps better than you guys. Way better. Yep. Shooting two. It's also good, so he hits both free throws. Well, for the Knicks, what's it going to take to bring them back to the glory days? Oh, that's a loaded question, B.A. But first of all, a superstar would certainly help. They haven't really had one for quite some time. If they can either develop or attract an elite all-star player, that would be a start to turning this New York franchise around and becoming possibly a contender. Well, guys, Slim in the last outing against the Raptors got the job done. He scored 20 points and also did a lot of damage from long. He's proven to be an important player in his team's success. We'll see if they can keep their streak alive tonight, guys. Hey, he made play after play. Really solid effort all night. And he did it in a variety of ways, which makes him harder for opponents to deal with. Way to use the whistle, Rock Nice! R.J. Barrett at the line, two shots. You know, sometimes we forget how young some of these guys are. Take R.J. Barrett, making his NBA debut at 19. Still a few years away from hitting his prime. Wiggins outside. Here's Henry. Another three for Golden State. <laughs> Just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there, knocking them down one after another. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. He's found a comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. Here's Hartenstein. Green covering. Randall can't hit, and specifically with R.J. Barrett, it feels like he's a lot older, Grant. You know, B.A., but he's not close to 25 yet. So what we see right now, it's not what he'll be once R.J. hits his prime. Still a lot of room to grow for him. Outside Brunson, pass to Barrett. Shoots over Wiggins. And again, the Knicks missing. You talk about things at halftime, and then you come out and you go 0 for 3. I'm sure that wasn't up on the board. And that one's good. Green. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Quickly, outside. Will it go? Yes. And a nice assist from Brunson. Brunson's got three assists now in this one. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. Pass to Green. Here's Henry. Wiggins outside. On the wing, Curry from the arc. Another three for Golden State. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. Back to Barrett. To the paint. And Hartenstein gets it to go. Hartenstein's got six. And that's a good heads-up play there from RJ. The Warriors have gone an impressive five of five so far in the third quarter. Curry against Brunson. Pass to Henry. Launches it. Oh, he can't miss. Eight for eight after that shot. He's getting it done offensively, making winning plays at every turn. Quickly from outside. The rebound by Wiggins. The Warriors have gotten all six of their shots to fall. Talk about a perfect start to the half. 
Sends it home from three-point land. Curry's got nine points in the quarter. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. And it's Randall with the jam. Now Randall can get up there with the best of them. It's a quick move. Curry passes to Wiggins. To the middle. The kick out, Curry. The three. And he sinks it again. Seven of seven from the field now. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. Back to Barrett. There's 37 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Two on one as they jump out on the break. Wiggins for three. And the Warriors with another three. Well, if Wiggins hits these three-point balls at a high clip, he'll become a much better player and more dangerous for this offense. Barrett passes to Randall. It's stolen by Green. In transition, here come the Warriors. Wiggins for three. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Green's got five assists tonight. Wow, five consecutive threes. This defense looking very frustrated right now. For three, Barrett. No good that time. And so it's the Golden State Warriors. And they're up. On the floor for the Warriors. We've got Dante DiVincenzo. Jonathan Kaminga is out there with Kevon Looney. Then there's Gary Payton the second. And it's Henry in at the point guard position. Kicks it to quickly. To the inside. Outside Brunson. And there's a pick. Six on the shot clock. It's rebounded by Golden State. DiVincenzo's got five rebounds tonight. There's a minute 54 left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Looney. And here's Peyton. The three ball. Fires in the triple. Peyton's got five points now in the quarter. And let's face it, when you're down this many points, you simply can't let them get that good of a look. Teachable moment there. Lapses like this are backbreakers. Here's Brunson. Good work defensively by DiVincenzo. He creates such a great opportunity right at the rim, and he just can't get it to go, even with the defense not really a factor. We saw one major rule change in the NBA last year. When a shooter intentionally initiates contact with a defender, it's a no. Substitution for your Knicks. Isaiah Roby. With a defender on him to be the one putting his body on the line. That's the defender's job. So the rule makes a lot of sense, B.A. Roby, he's checked in for New York. Toppin comes in for Wall. Barrett passes to Brunson. And let's face it, this one was never really in question. They came out with purpose and just overwhelmed the opposition. A great win for the Warriors. And it was a big-time performance across the board. They looked like they were having fun out there, Grant. <laughs> yeah, B.A., it was almost like watching a cat play with a mouse. I mean, they did pretty much anything they wanted to do out there today. And this will give them win number 32 on the year so far. And that's a sweep of the season series. It's clear who the matchup favored. They'll wish they could have seen more of these guys. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Slim.
he was tough to cover all game long. One of those nights when he felt like nobody could stop him, and they didn't. Pass to Henry for three. It's rebounded by New York. Outside Brunson. And so Golden State takes this one, and by a big margin. Boy, this crowd has to be shocked by the way their team was dismantled. Now, shocked and surprised. It doesn't matter what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to just waltz in and cruise to the type of victory like we saw tonight. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. Alongside Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson with our entire 2K crew thanking you for watching. And we'll see you next time.